Okay, welcome back to episode 8 of Fort Malthus. Rock and rolling, trying to build a wall around our base so that our remaining 11 dwarves don't die. Middle of winter, or early winter, and there's just not a lot going on. Uh, it's going to be a pretty chill episode, just like the last one. Hopefully something happens. Problem is, in the winter, not much. Like, you can get attacked, that's about it, but I can't exactly fight back right now. In fact, I'm kind of hoping to uh, finish our wall before we ever get attacked, and that way I can have just like a giant pasture for my giant animals. If you are just now joining us, um, I tamed a ton of giant wild elephants and rhinos that were fortunate enough to murder half my base early on, thus scaring all microwaves from joining me in the future. It's been like three seasons and I haven't gotten any more. It's kind of rough. I don't think you get migrants in the winter. Never really had to worry about it. Usually have at least 20 dudes by now. Where are you guys going? Get back in here. You following a cat around or something? You're fighting an eagle again. Oh, if you missed that, um, we have like a group of eagles that attack our base now, uh, like a lot of them, and they can like fly over our walls. So, in fact, uh, I don't know if we still have one. We have one like on the stairs, like halfway down our fortress. Here's the tombs of all the deaths we've had so far. Here's our dope level of uh, stone that we've been using to get. I don't play with cave-ins on. Uh, because I, I hate the support system in the game, and I hate being constrained on how I design stuff. Also, it's a really good excuse to just kind of build giant uh, giant places like that. We've stopped making more food. Because we don't need it. I wonder if we won't get any more merchants until this merchant dies. Kind of want to murder that last merchant. It's not great. Don't know where she is. She's right there. Let me see if you have any friends here. You don't. I've never done this, but I've also never just had like an entire caravan get murdered right off the bat. So we'll see how this works. Is she dead? No. No. She's just in a cage. But you know what that means, right? I can do... I can mark her as dump. And I'll dump her in the dump over here. Then we'll add a smasher. I don't need her stuff anyway. I'm sure that pissed off my dwarves having to beat that crap. Oh hey, they killed that <laughs> killed that eagle that was attacking our base. Oh they've I mean when you set everyone to do one thing, it's like it works or something. It looks like there's two guys here, but it's just a woman and their giant baby. Their giant naked baby. I 
What are you doing, kid? Playing make-believe by the imprisoned dwarf. Tracks. The tracks. How's our animals doing? Got a new one. Uh, go ahead and eat you. I mean, we're never going to be short of food with how many wild large animals or giant animals there are. Which is both cool and weird for me because I never have large meat industries. I always do just static gathering on uh, a large pasture like this and it gives you all the food you could possibly want. I mean, once we get the wall finished, we can actually start doing other stuff. So, oh, because people are running away from the eagle. Resume. Okay, should be good. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of people got interrupted while eagling. Man, I feel so vulnerable. I have no military. Everyone's doing one task to try to get it done as fast as possible. They're doing a good job. It's just, just taking a long time. So I've been thinking what I want to do with this channel, and I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to start building Warhammer models, so that's an option. Uh, I'm a gardener, so during the summer I'm sure I'll do gardening videos. Uh, I'm going to try to always have one game going, but I want to do other stuff too, you know, just little shorts and stuff. Uh, maybe stream some Dark Tide? I don't know, I don't have a camera. I don't know what people's appetite for cameraless people's appetite for um, cameraless streamers is anymore. I'm not exactly like a VTuber or anything. Come on, guys! So close. Cool. Make sure. Cool. We're gonna go in here, labor. Straight up, just delete this one. Now everyone should start doing what they're supposed to do. Okay. Get rid of this. You gather fruit. This whole area. This whole area. Except hit pasture. Same. My dudes will be able to eat as much as they want. Cool. And I can get rid of the pasture in here. I should move her. Ok, 
Can I just like build her cage in here? No building present, okay. I was gonna say just let me put her you know, right in there. It's a lot nicer to have everyone spread out like that compared to what we had previously where it was just like a bunch of giant animals in one tiny area. Well, we got statues now. My doggo heard a noise. Anybody decorating with stone? Or decorating with bones, sorry. Ah, making some better beds. Got a lot of bones. Oh, here we go. How much aardvark meat did I get from that? Not very much compared to going by the bone. Aardvark must just not be that big in game. I mean, compared to a rhino or elephant, warthog or anything, it's going to be pretty small. We're doing pretty good when it comes to production. Do we need more barrels? No, we got quite a, quite a few barrels. So we're doing pretty well, it's just going really slow. <laughs> Tell you what, I could use just a straight up animal handler, animal trainer. See what I got seat wise. Whip fine. Whip fine. Would you whip fine? Here we go. That'll give him something to grow. Make wood wine out of it. I'm trying to think if I want to put a moat around here or not. Do 
I have the manpower for a moat? The only thing I would keep out would be climbers. Because it had to be a swimming climber. But that might be better than nothing. Nice, we're going to early spring. Maybe we can get some migrants. If you're new to Dwarf Fortress, when this game is saving, don't touch the keyboard. I don't care how good your computer is. Don't trust it. Way too many of my games just like straight up no longer exist because of that. What is our woodcutter doing right now? Sleeping. Oh, when he wakes up, I'm cutting wood. Why are you naked? Just like wet, neato. Why are you naked? Several of my dudes are naked. The eagle must have damaged her, you know, other stuff must have damaged their clothes. robes. Let's make some shoes. Make some socks. Make some mittens. Trousers, sorry. I don't know what we have available. When it comes to uh, I know we have leather, so we'll use that. Do I even have a leather worker? So, <laughs> another giant advoc. Woodcutters on the on the war path right now. Go ahead and remove these traps. We we'll use them uh, somewhere else. Feeling a mite daddy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a moat too wide around my whole base. I'm going to connect it with a floodgate to this under the wall um, just so I have an internal water source make a wooden floodgate let's do two let's do Wooden, like twenty five. There we go. 
Took a second to do math in my head. Take that back. I'm gonna do wood grate, wood floor, wood grate, wood floor, wood grate. Go from there. Oh, we kind of know the road park. Woodcutter made short work of those. Music's like super ominous. Should be one deep or two. fast at it. Done with our floodgates, that's good. Yeah, they're rolling pretty fast through these. Well, I think we'll leave it there for today. Uh, next time, hopefully, we'll get some migrants, and we'll keep working on our moat. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time at Fort Mathis. Later.